Football can make you jump for joy or cry your eyes out. The beautiful game is one of the most popular sports in the world, and there have been a lot of emotional moments, from a near-death experience to sad farewells and a sucker punch. Here are 10 of the most emotional moments in football. And first up, this player almost died. When Denmark prepared for the opening game of Euro 2020 in the summer of 2021, they could never have guessed what would happen within minutes of kicking off. Christian Eriksen, their star player, collapsed under no pressure from opposition players. It looked horrible, and players and fans quickly realized something was seriously wrong. Ericsson had suffered cardiac arrest. Thankfully for Ericsson, his teammate Simon Kiar administered CPR on him. It was Kiar's quick action which proved vital for Ericsson. Kiar ensured Ericsson's airways were also clear too. After 15 agonizing minutes, Ericsson was finally taken off the pitch into hospital. Ericsson woke after his operation and was able to pose for a selfie for his worrying fans around the world. The most remarkable thing is that Ericsson recovered and with a pacemaker fitted in his chest, eventually found himself able to return to playing football. His first game back since the collapse saw him appear for Brentford in the Premier League, who signed him on loan. Every fan in the ground applauded his return from resurrection to a reluctant move. It was something no one thought would ever happen. But Lionel Messi left Barcelona. The Spanish Titans were in the midst of major financial issues and were under investigation. Because of this, they were having to cut costs and sell players on the cheap. Messi spent 21 years at the Now Camp, starting in their youth team before establishing himself as the best in the world. Barca is still Messi's one true love, and he's the most important player in their history. Many legends of the club like Iniesta, Xavi, and PK have left the club with an emotional send-off. But the saddest part about Messi leaving is that had the club not put itself into financial trouble, he would never have left. Still, Messi had riches waiting for him at PSG. His retirement speech was emotional and clearly difficult for Messi to deliver. He started simply with, I am here to say goodbye. He then delivered a moving speech which left him and everyone at the conference in tears. Many can agree it was a sad moment because Messi and Barca were so tied together. But this other legend's goodbye was just as emotional. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is seen as a god among many fans, partly because he's always telling the world how great he is. For 24 years, Ibrahimovic blessed us all with amazing skill, spectacular goals, and amazing interviews. This guy spent so much time referring to himself in the third person, but football doesn't have many characters like Zlatan, and he knew it. Even into his 40s, Zlatan played at the highest level, but nothing lasts forever. And the sad day finally came at the end of the 2022-2023 season, when the big Swede announced his retirement. Having spent a lot of the season now injured, Zlatan's age finally seemed to catch up with him. He just couldn't continue. During AC Milan's final game of the season, the club put on a special ceremony for Ibrahimovic to acknowledge his imminent retirement. There wasn't a dry eye in the house, and even Ibrahimovic, usually so cool and collected, was in tears. It was a beautiful moment that acknowledged Zlatan the superhuman player, but also allowed us to get a glimpse of Zlatan the human being. In 2016, the story of Bradley Lowry spread quickly around the football world. The young boy had been diagnosed with a rare type of blood cancer when he was only 18 months old. Growing up, there was little hope of survival and only the possibility of expensive procedures in New York, which might have helped. The Sunderland fans' journey inspired a crowdfunding campaign, which raised 700,000 pounds to help fund his treatments. It also got noticed by his favorite team, who began inviting him to events and matches and visiting the little boy. In particular, the sight of Lowry and his favorite player, Jermaine Defoe, regularly appeared online. Defoe spent a lot of time trying to give the boy great memories, knowing time was short for Bradley. Sadly, Bradley finally lost his battle in 2018. Defoe gave a heartfelt press conference telling of his admiration for Bradley, who, despite everything, always had a smile on his face. Life can be cruel, and fate doesn't care how famous you are. Ciron is one of the greatest players of all time. He's got it all, seemingly the perfect life. But he traded all for one moment in his life to be different. In 2022, Cristiano Ronaldo and his girlfriend Georgina were expecting a boy and a girl. Ronaldo was playing for Manchester United at the time, back at the club which turned him into one of the world's best. But tragedy struck. Though their young daughter survived birth, 
Georgina suffered a miscarriage and their young son died. The couple were devastated and their fans around the world were hit hard by the sadness their idol, Ronaldo, would have been feeling. Cristiano and Georgina said, It is with our deepest sadness we have to announce that our baby boy has passed away. It is the greatest pain that any parent can feel. Ronaldo was due to play for United against their arch rivals Liverpool a few days after. He decided to withdraw from the squad. An understandable decision, but his presence was felt during the game. In a beautiful moment, Liverpool fans rose to their feet to show their support for Ronaldo, putting aside their differences because of a moment that would crush anyone. Neymar is the biggest star of Brazilian football since Pele. He's a fan favorite, often seen as the hope of a generation. Brazil last won the World Cup in 2002, but have always expected to win the trophy with Neymar as their talisman. Neymar has won the Copa America and Olympic gold representing Brazil, but the World Cup is the one which has eluded him. In 2014, Brazil arrived as one of the favorites. Neymar had finished his first season with Barcelona and many expected either he or Messi to lead their nation to glory. It was going so well, with Brazil storming to the semifinals to face Germany. But it was heartbreak for Neymar, who suffered a back injury against Colombia in the quarterfinals. This wasn't just a regular injury either. Doctors even feared for Neymar's future in professional sport. Out of the World Cup and unable to help, Brazil just didn't have the same presence without Neymar's magic. He had to watch his team get destroyed by Germany, 7-1 in the semifinal. And with that, the World Cup dream ended in heartbreak for Neymar. In 2017, things were very tough for Man City legend David Silva. He'd spent many years at the club and was considered one of their all-time best players. But although he and his girlfriend Jessica had recently welcomed a baby boy into the world, their little Mateo had been born premature and was in a fight to survive. Man City had a game to play and a title to secure, and Tottenham came to town. Pep Guardiola gave a rousing speech, which was featured in Amazon's documentary series All or Nothing. Today we have to win for one reason. We have to win for David Silva. It was a beautiful moment which showed the unity at the club, but also just how important Silva was to his team mates and manager. Best of all, it worked, and Man City won 4-1. We'll stick with Man City and another final match. The Argentinian goal machine, Sergio Aguero, is a legend for Man City. During his time, he scored 260 goals for the team, making him their all-time record goal scorer. Time catches up with all great players, and in his last 12 months for the team, he played fewer games with Guardiola looking at different players and systems. However, Aguero always had a gift for scoring goals when he got time on the pitch. He'd already planned on leaving at the end of the 2020-2021 season, and in City's final home game of the season, Guardiola brought Aguero off the bench to give him his final minutes on the pitch. How did Aguero respond? He did what he had always done for the team, and he scored two great goals. Guardiola made a tearful, heartfelt tribute after the game, expressing his admiration for the brilliant player, and the fans were also in tears when their record goal scorer clocked his final minutes. Let's look at another emotional moment for Aguero's fellow Argentinian. Lionel Messi. The Qatar World Cup was pretty controversial, but alongside all the debate about the hosts and a World Cup playing during Europe's winter months, there was one question on the lips of most football fans. Is this Messi's year? Messi had already heartbreakingly lost in a final. His time for Argentina has often been a disappointing one, with the team coming up short of expectations. That changed when they won the 2019 Copa America. But Messi still had his eyes on the biggest prize. Undoubtedly, it was Messi's final World Cup. This was now or never, but thanks to some inspiring performances from Lionel himself and some great goalkeeping from Emiliano Martinez, Argentina did win it for Messi. The national hero was now the undisputed greatest of all time, and it was a big emotional moment when Argentina finally won via a penalty shootout. The game itself was filled with drama and they almost lost it. The relief and joy for Messi was plain to see, and for most fans across the world, it was wonderful. Sure, this was a beautiful moment for Messi, and the World Cup is king, but how about this emotional victory? For Sebastian Haller, his big move from Ajax to German giants Borussia Dortmund should have been a major career highlight. But life had other ideas, and shortly after his transfer, Haller was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Suddenly, the young man wasn't thinking about challenging for the Bundesliga or going on a good run in Europe for his new team. 
he was just thinking about survival. Haller began his treatment hoping to clear himself of the disease, but in the back of his mind, he would have been worried about his ability to return to elite football after. He hasn't even made an appearance for Dortmund. So when Haller came off the bench to finally make his debut for the club in January 2023, it was a glorious moment for Haller, his family, and the team. Even better was the first competitive goal which Haller scored in February of 2023, on World Cancer Day. After the game, he said his goal was a message of hope and courage to all cancer sufferers.